we were revising we during the storm in our summer okay so what we have learned here that first first point that we have revised one was tanisha yes what was the first thing that i have told you about this chapter yes what was the first thing that i told keep on searching yes or prashant went to his where where uh, right very much went to his friends house now who will explain me this point yes just karan stand up now tell me why he went Huh. very good okay so next after that what was the next point that i discussed okay super cyclone hit no one will speak please just a moment super cyclone hit that place next beta your name sit down please your name bhavish yes bhavish bhavish your test was not up to the mark now tell me what happened when he has gone to his friend's house what happened there now explain completely that please close that door tanisha bhavish so now tell me cyclone hit that place and what changes or what happened at that place yes sit down next ayan explain when the super cyclone hit that place what were the changes that has taken place at and you are preparing for your final exams tanisha wait a minute let him speak wait a minute please yes mother was killed in super cyclone wrong yes tanisha these are the general things in context to this chapter yes tanisha Hmm. Houses were broken, right? Trees were uprooted and fallen on the roofs of the houses, causing the houses to break or had fallen to the earth. Yes. Next, which point? Yes, very good. Brown sheet of water covered everywhere. Huh? it was all the houses were filled with neck deep water people did not have anything to eat bloated carcasses of animals as well as dead bodies of human beings or human corpses they floated over the surface of water huh from the from the same bereavement that he suffered before that is he was afraid of the death of of to face the same kind of you can say depression as well as sadness that he has felt at the death of his mother earlier next point yes what was the destruction stop one minute destruction caused by cyclone now what was the destruction caused by cyclone yes sarthak now you can explain what was the destruction caused by cyclone very good all the houses were broken trees were uprooted fallen over the roofs of the houses yes 
people had nothing to eat house brown sheet of water covered everything collective ones i am not getting any single point when you are speaking collective dead bodies animal carcasses as well as human corpses floated on the surface of water people have nothing to eat yes water was covered with filth and vomit yes yes right filth and decay fine okay so this is the destruction which is caused by cyclone sit down please next point what was yes now no one will speak blessing in this guys neha jyot is present in the class no okay your name kritika okay kritika yes Hmm. Who will elaborate it? Yes, Eva. Ah, it was only raw coconut on which they were surviving, and finally, what happened? That the coconut tree of a uh, coconut tree had fallen upon the roof and it is for the first time they had something to eat in the past 3 days as for the for complete 36 hours they were living without any food okay <coughs> and this falling of coconut tree over the roof it was of course a blessing in disguise why it was blessing in disguise as they have got something to eat okay so next point how shan please go yes how prashan One minute. How Prashant reached his home? Yes, Harun, you can explain. Hmm. Fine to see the condition of his family. Then what happened? Sturdy stick. Yes, what he used? He had a sturdy stick. in order to locate his path as there were no passages and everywhere there was water and water only to be seen and no roads and no pathways could be seen okay on the way he met his father's two of his father's friends ha and they waited through the water they waited through the water and they have to push dead bodies of animals as well as human beings in order to move further okay right finally and when then afterwards what happened that he reached his house or he reached the place where once his house was situated and what kind of scene he has his heart went okay so next point is let us discuss the next one yes what was the next what was प्रशांत वी विल डिस्कस इन हेयर दिस मेट हिज फैमिली सो हाउ डिड प्रशांत मेट हिज फैमिली यस यस लवीना With her outstretched arms, her eyes brimmed with tears, filled with tears. Okay. Slowly, this word spread around the red. So when after, first of all, you will explain that when he reached his the place where his house was uh, situated, once situated, there was nothing to find there. He was not able to find any family member, and house some of the belongings of the house they were. they were hanging on the branches of the trees at one point he thought that all the family members were dead okay but then he then he thought to go to red cross shelter then you will explain that there what happened that he met his grandmother okay uh, okay fine and finally what happened that this word stretched uh, sorry spread in the entire red cross shelter that prashant has come back and no everybody gathered and he met all his family members here 
Okay. Now next afterwards. Steps taken by Prashant that I have discussed under one point that how he was a leader. Okay, how he was a leader. So steps taken by Prashant. So, so what is the first point here? What were the steps taken? First is procured rice. From rice merchant. Tomorrow we will revise lastly. Okay. Because, hmm. So how he procured rice from rice merchant? Last Hanood. Yes. He collected the young people. He collected young people or youngsters. Yes, to put pressure, to lay pressure upon the merchant and who was not ready to part with his rice. Then it was also in its rotten condition, but he was successful in taking hold of the sacks of rice and ultimately it was for the first time that something was cooked in Red Cross shelter and people had food to their heart's content and nobody cared whether the rice was rotten. So next, what other steps were taken by him? Cleaning of Cleaning of Red Cross shelter. So, what is the next step taken by him? Yes, who will explain, Prabhun? Explain about cleaning of Red Cross shelter. Sit down, please. Sit down. Bob. By clearing of filth, vomit, and tending the wounds of the ladies, the people were assigned. Okay, fine. Next, afterwards, what step? Helicopter. Seeking attention of. Seeking attention of rescue helicopters. Of rescue helicopters. Now, how he had got attention of rescue helicopters? Yes, Jyotin. Very good. Empty plate on their bellies. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. And had had thrown food packets to them. At first of all, they were not able to uh, find the place to uh, provide their help. But later on, when they have seen those empty plates on their uh, on their uh, bodies, okay, and uh, ultimately they were shining in the light of the sun. Then what happened? That they thought that their rescue operation need to be. Uh, provided to at this place also and then what happened that they have found food packets and other other packets of basic needs then afterwards setting off polythene sheet shelter one minute from me stand up yes explain about setting up of polythene sheet shelter Okay, and made special, you can say, made special shelters for orphan children as there was nobody to take care of them. And he was the first one to provide his, you can say, emotional as well as emotional assistance to them in order to provide them love and care also. Okay. Very, very good. So women were mobilized to look after them and the men were given the job of to secure food for them. Next afterwards, steps for one minute steps for widows and orphans. So what steps have been taken by him for widows and orphans? Yes, Shubham will tell me. Hmm? 
means what he has organized that he organized cricket matches to make themselves to make them busy and even he was fond of playing cricket so he organized cricket matches motivated women to work in yes it is food for work program food for work program and this food for work program it was the yes he of course opposed the idea of separation of orphan children and widows from the mainstream crowd okay so finally what he suggested he then he suggested the formulation of foster families because living in isolation what would happen that would make the children grow without any love and love affection and care and widows they will also fall prey to stigma of loneliness Okay, sit down, please. Okay, so in this manner he has organized. Then afterwards, so the finally these were the steps, and he was his space was the only one, only one to see during. So this is how he has emerged out to be a leader, right? This is how he has emerged out to be a leader. Okay. Uh, now this chapter is complete. Revision of this chapter is complete. So now when this question can be there, that what steps are taken by Prashan, okay, to revive the life back to normal of the people of His village. You will include all these points. So in this manner, what you have to do, you have to write down your answer. Right. Uh, now diary entry format. Let us discuss. Okay. I'm writing. I'm discussing. now we are going to discuss diary entry format how this diary entry is to be written day date time and then dear diary har ko now clear day for example tuesday then day then time Usually, you will choose the night time, nine o'clock, nine thirty. Okay, because at the end of the day, usually the diary entry is to be written. Then salutation, dear diary. Okay, after writing your salutation, dear diary, you will always start with an expression. start with an expression for example how wonderful how wonderful the day was how terrible the feeling was how great 
experience it was okay. anything can be there i'm going to discuss okay i'm coming to your point also now see some of the students in test they have written hello dear diary or hello how are you this is extremely long wrong you are not supposed to write down in diary in this manner start with this kind of expression how wonderful the day was how exciting how sad the day was how great the day was okay in this manner and then you will mention purpose of diary writing by you are writing okay next you will explain your feelings how you felt okay and then afterwards you will conclude how you will conclude how you will conclude diary entry how you will conclude okay now i am feeling sleepy your mom is calling and i will talk to you later okay and at the end your name fine so this is how the diary entry is to be written now the next point is that as he has asked them what type of questions what type of questions mainly in diary entry you are always asked to write down experience based feelings like you have gone through some experience and now then you have to portray your feelings for example the question was there that uh, the show was uh, telecast okay telecast it okay you participated suppose in some competition and this uh, competition is going to be telecasted okay on national channel so what you, how would you feel of course it would be a great feeling exciting, exciting also you were excited also as you have got an opportunity yeah, to participate okay yes uh, yes i am not able to wait any longer for my name to be displayed on the tv screen or on the silver screen for the first time and i am going to sit among the great panelists who were there okay fine and uh, and i am so excited that i was uh, that i am excitedly telling this news to my neighbors and my friends and relatives who are of course in great wait of watch of watching this program right so in this manner any experience that you have gone through this will be asked in case of diary entry right this is what you have to write in diary entry suppose you have got first position in exam after that how you felt you won any competition okay then how you felt or you have seen somebody begging on the road who was below poverty line how you felt today you helped someone okay how you felt you have been selected as the head boy of the school how you felt so this is only based upon your feelings that how you felt okay so this is all about the revision of this chapter withering the storm in a summer as well as that of you can say diary entry for story writing title is to be written make different paragraphs introduce dialogues okay fine diary entry if you have written this content in one para then it is also fine if you have made two then it is fine but diary entry should not be like that that you will write a long diary entry to the point talk to the point five marks it will be there only five marks yes five marks okay so five marks so accordingly you have to write 10 marks you will have of writing skills as well as your grammar like 5 marks diary entry or story and then 5 marks of grammar 3 plus 2 like that 20 marks is of literature no no 10 marks writing skills and grammar then 20 marks literature 30 okay and then here you will get extract of 5 marks question answers of 15 marks okay or 14 marks and three files of 15 years and five mark question okay 20 and then you will have your reading skills 10 marks no mcqs to be included in any form 
not not even in that of uh, comprehension and not even in literature this is what you are going to have in your comprehension yes one one mark each it will be of one one mark each okay 10 questions in but in questions direct or understanding based questions discursive or factual paragraphs can be there okay and in those kind of questions you will get sometimes you will like you will find the meaning of you will find synonym of you will find antonym these are usually the part of you can say this uh, reading skills always these type of questions are always there this you have to do fine now any other question from your side you can ask me 